so the method is uh, adapted from uh, Roger Martin's uh, Cascade of Choices. Roger Martin is a university professor and uh, a well, well-published author uh, who has uh, put together this uh, strategy method to help businesses deal with uh, change. And uh, the, the, the method actually fits very well at a, per, at a person level without, um, with, with some adaptation. So what Phil and I have, have done is, is adapted this method for our, our purposes. And it consists of a series of steps, five, five significant steps. And um, uh, the first of these is uh, uh, setting out your goals and aspirations. In a business context, these are business goals, but at a personal level, these are your personal goals. So what are you trying to accomplish in life? And it covers off things like uh, money goals, like you know financial, but also, uh, which is, might be things businesses don't think about, but your career goal and your health goal and how you wanna deal with uh, balance and life and, and other factors. Next, after that set, it then cascades down, hence the arrow, uh, cascades down to where is there opportunity out there? Which industries and what are the opportunities in those industries that look uh, like a, they're promising and have a fit with someone whose background is in the oil and gas industry? And this, is, uh, this has worked very well for me several times. Uh, it's worked for Phil, and we believe it has uh, extendability to all kinds of individuals uh, in, in the industry. And what you're looking for in this uh, industries and opportunities is big changes, changes that are gonna happen over long swings of time. Uh, it's useful to understand the implications of these changes. For example, as I mentioned earlier, uh, uh, carbon capture and storage is gonna require well drilling and reservoir skills. It's not, it's not as left there's a completely new set of reservoir skills you're gonna to have to go get. The same skills that we already use for uh, reservoir engineering and reservoir management are gonna be in, in demand for carbon capture and storage. But only if you can communicate that effectively. So next, it's looking at the personal possibilities. What are the personal possibilities for yourself that fit within the industries which are poised to grow? Uh, everybody has existing skills and talents. We talked about the superpowers, which uh, we're gonna talk about a little bit later, but you know, related to your spikes. Uh, where are, have you spent a lot of time uh, doing something uh, and have developed deep expertise in that area? Now, inevitably, as you look at the industry's opportunities, where they're headed, where they're, what, what areas are poised to grow, what adaptations will be necessary, and then in, within the context of specific areas or spikes of expertise you have, there's inevitably going to be some gaps. Well, the final step in the uh, method is uh, to create an, a, what we call a pyramid. The pyramid is a, a, a way to uh, show how the different uh, investments in yourself, the uh, j focused pursuits and focused jobs and filtered jobs that you, uh, that, you, that you pursue, that you chase, are all leading up to what is ultimately your dream job, the job that uh, meets all of your goals and your, your agenda. And I, I can share some examples in my life of how th this, uh, this worked and didn't work uh, for me, and so I had to go back and, and revisit. A, a, great, a very simple example, I wanted to work in the liquefied natural gas industry, so I moved to Australia to learn, learn the industry, and then I come back to Canada, and Canada hasn't sanctioned any projects. So I, I got the, I, my goal was fine. I did what I needed to do to pursue the opportunity, but then the opportunity didn't happen. So I had to go back up and go revisit, well, what's my new goal? And so the, the method here allows, gives you see that, that kind of flexibility to, to go up and uh, go down.